Hello. Hello. Welcome. So today I have one problem to solve. So yeah, basically I think I uh, managed to fix the fallen through the ground problem, especially in the caves. But now I have to fix basically collisions for basically every monster and NPC. Guess I broke those. So this is gonna be fun. Okay. So yeah, let's start. I already did a, a small bunch for Bukui family. Yeah, let's continue. Basically, we need to copy the collisions from the packs to the freaking CSV files, the database. So, we could start 4040. <laughs> thirty-eight, thirty-eight. Normal of a down fifty four to five. Seventy six fifteen. Okay. <laughs> On this one is correct. Correlictus. Thirty eight forty four. Okay. John Fry one hundred twenty one here one hundred thirty five. Okay, Mermans or Merman, Silent Merman, one thirteen fifty. Okay, one o five sixteen. <clears throat> okay. The chased mermaid. Okay, one thirty sixty. Raglan mermaid. This these names. Okay, ninety sixty. Well, what, what's wrong with my cursor? Okay, where? Ninety sixty. Okay. Is it gonna stay like that forever? Like, like what the hell? Why is my cursor became every size and error? Well, okay, never mind. Oh, it fixed itself. Weird. Merman magician. Okay. 
Zero. I know it, it's not a skeletal mesh, but weird. Okay. Rainbow fish. Four to fourteen. Tropical smell. Fifty forty. Yeah, these are way off. Fire trilogy. Coming lines. Oh, here it is. Thirty five fifty five Tropical Hydra One hundred fifty hundred fifty Hello Aninya San. Hello, how are you doing? <clears throat> Black stripe tuna. Uh, here, eighty one fifty. Eighty one fifty. Blue shark. One hundred one fifty. White thunder should be actually the same. So we will see. One hundred two hundred. Bacon eater. So one eighty, one twenty. Unknown. Yeah, this this is gonna be an annoying task, but whatever. So uh one ten, one twenty. Gave buffer. Eighty thirty. Eighty thirty. Okay. Rada. Thirty five fifty. Okay, this is correct. Progress here. Uh, where is it? Here it is. One twelve, one hundred. It's fine. Draw. Okay, thirty eighty. And this one is the same. Vedan Z. Two hundred, three hundred, okay. Why why all the vertex meshes have basically zero 
body body height body radius i need to to check that because that's weird okay uh spar 45 40. This one is the same. Poison spore. Forty five, forty. And this one. Sixty-five, seventy. Okay, that's correct. Fahrenheit. Eighty-five, ninety. Correct. So there is G. One fifty. One twenty. But there is W, 170, 130. Baby is 60, 50, okay. Thirty thirty against her cat. Uh, Sixty five thirty. Okay, <clears throat> foot pet cat. Fifty-five, forty, magician cat. Fifty, thirty, fifty, thirty. Also, let me know it, and it was a mistake. Uh, let me check if I actually apply the body scale. I think that's actor manager. Mm. Lynn Cress. Okay, so uh, radius scale times NPC scale. Yeah, that that gets applied, but I don't think I actually do apply that on the server side. So I need to do that. Let me write that down. Uh, let me let me write that down. Oh my God, why am I struggling pronouncing words? So um. Collision radius scale. Do I have that parameter? I don't. Weird. Okay, uh, so this one uh, apply um, body scale. Server side as well. Okay, maybe we can maybe we can do that later today. But first, we need to 
finish this thing. So, uh, here, body height, body radius, 50, 30, yeah. Now, pirate cat, pirate cat. 6528 Yeah, these numbers are all over the place unfortunately. Edgar's wolf. Normal wolf, normal wolf. 6120, correct? One wolf. Seventy one twenty. Now, Corrad one hundred one twenty. That's correct. Tony Spider. Sixty one hundred fifty two eighty. Okay, keep wait. Fifty five eighty milk cow one twenty and one seventy. Okay, correct. Remnant spend it. Wait, where is this one? Oh, here it is. Okay, one ten forty. Okay, good. Female bandit. Don't see it. All right. Here it is. One o five, not one o three. One o five thirty five. <clears throat> I guess just to make it a little bit more interesting what we can do okay uh, you can turn those around at least so you guys can see them on, on stream So, uh, leader bandit. Uh, what twenty fifty five? Okay. Thief black. Which one? Thief black L thirty five eighty. Okay. F thirty five eighty. Weird. Even for the, the the same model, they have different body height for this monster, which is really weird. Okay, now the M version thirty five eighty as well. No, see thief pack. <laughs> F thirty five eighty as well. 
unfortunately I can only paste one line uh, now the male version 3580 okay now gtb um gtb here it is 3580 the hell really okay th this is weird oh maybe yeah 200 scaling okay uh, size dependent on the level difference no level mobs yeah but the, the the thing is the the actual size is defined here in body scale and that one is the same for different levels uh, so this body height and body radius defines the collision which is being used to like place the mob correctly on the on the map itself uh, and to uh, like check the collision on the on the server side but the scaling is actually the same so and uh even if we forget about the scaling maybe it's like they changed it later still uh scaling up should be applied to body height and body radius so we take this number uh, multiply it by this percent and we get the final scale which brings me to back to npcs no this is correct i would also have to check that actually i really want to check if that works because i have some doubts so let's try and export on uh, this so i need to be careful and stage the files often because it's it's very easy to do some mistake during database exporting and lose all the data and i really don't want to lose all this copy paste and i, I hate it so let's check if actually i forgot to recompile the tables for the client so i need to do that first and then start so i already applied the proper body height and radius for natalie and now I want to see if the, the scaling works properly with those parameters. Because it should according to the code, but maybe we would need to do some tweaks. It gets applied properly, so yeah, she's standing as she should, although she's two times higher. Second, I'm gonna make it a screenshot real quick. So yeah, uh, that works. So even if I select here, yeah, even the, the selection uh, circle gets scaled properly. So yeah, that works. So body scale gets uh, applied after body height and body, or, or rather to the body height and body radius. 
So yeah, that's good. Um, back to our monsters. So I was doing the GTB. Where is it again? Um, here it is, 3580, yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that I don't apply this body scale on the server side, so I need to do that. <clears throat> uh, but that's for later. So, MGF mouse, MGF. Forty three thirty. Yeah. Town mouse. Forty six thirty five. Okay. CG mouse. Uh, Thirty forty five. This is incorrect. John Steele. One hundred thirty five. Why is my UI is slow all of a sudden? Okay, now next gen chan uh this one one forty six fifty three Okay um long but um why is this so not all of, all of the summer? Oh, okay, because yeah, they they are basically flying in the air. Um, yeah. So, uh, long of a dawn. Uh, where are you? Seventy two sixty, I have seventy four sixty. Okay. Could you explain this data to CSV and map in per uh, wait, export this data to CSV and map information? Uh yeah, it's a single time staff. I could theoretically write a script, but a prob the problem is this: these numbers are stored in the encrypted packs, uh, Unreal package, uh, packages. And to write the script, I would have to basically create an Unreal Engine application. I already done that multiple times, but yeah, it's just very time consuming and it's not worth it really. I just need to like manually check every number one time and then we will use just these numbers because yeah actually initially i had to do that so uh basically i i, I get lazy and used these old uh, data tables with the newer um monster collisions I should have done that even before that, but I was lazy and I actually tried to load this, da this data from um, the packages when needed by the client. And that didn't work out. So now I definitely need to fix all of that. And that's good because the same data will be used by the server. So the server validation will be more accurate. So yeah. Um, it's just a one-time thing they need to do because I broke some things. So, Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. 
Wait, where is the Hydra? Am I blind? Oh, I think it's lowercase. Yeah. 150. Okay, correct. Gray shark. Hundred to one fifty. That's totally wrong. EMR tuna. Fifty one sixty. White tuna. But yeah, basically because uh, of um, the loading of these uh, numbers on the client side uh, from these packages, from these exact values, instead of using the, the, the values from the data table, the client was not working correctly and that was part of the reason why some monsters uh, were falling through the ground. That was just a part of the reason. So yeah, I think I, I managed to fix uh, falling through the ground in caves especially and stuff like that. I don't think it's 100% fixed, but what's what's going on? What, what, why are these glitches happening? weird so yeah um i don't think it's 100 percent fix i don't think it's possible to fix it 100 percent with this engine without basically rewriting all the collision calculation logic uh but it should be almost perfect now it should, it should be almost reliable but yeah because because all of that stuff that I did to fix that, now I need to also fix all these numbers properly because now the client is using the collision information from these tables instead of the packs. So yeah, a lot of monsters basically are completely broken right now. They are either floating in the air when they should be walking on the ground or they are like crawling under the ground or the radius is incorrect in Q130 and even after I do all of that uh, all of these numbers I would still have to basically ideally test every NPC and, and see how it looks like when spawned on a flat surface but we will see maybe we will just test the ones that we have right now in the game and do the rest when we actually will be working on the other maps i don't know we will see One fifty. Uh, four to five. Snowball. One thirty seven. So that's correct. Alfie Tran. Fifty five thirty, correct. Polar bear. Polar bear M. One thirty one hundred. This is slightly, slightly wrong. Polar bear F. One twenty. 85 and the baby 5045 
Um, here, seventy forty. Seventy fifty five, okay. Can check which ones were changed by different files and find which ones I think we have to test. No, the, the, the thing is I do need to test everything because this like th this is not the only change that I've done to make the monsters not fall through the ground. So yeah, th they are using data from this table now instead of the packs. But also the collision calculation is slightly different. And because of that, it also increases the probability of, um, how do you call it, um, discrepancies. Uh, so sometimes monsters can be placed slightly higher or slightly lower. And that depends on the monster collision box. Well, not, not box, but collision cylinder itself and the, the ground where it spawns so I, I would need to also double check if all of that correct and maybe adjust this number slightly so most of the time the monsters will be like closer to the ground <clears throat> because here right now on, on the uh, on the test server the monsters uh when when they do uh, stand on the ground so when they don't fall through they are actually pretty much on spot they are there there's almost no discrepancies it's like pixel perfect but now we will have some discrepancies unfortunately i, I had to do that to to decrease the probability of falling through the ground Well, again, th this is not not much work. Um, I, I should finish. Actually, I don't know. Probably in one hour, this should be done. I hope so, at least. So, little power. Uh, where is that? Wait, no, probably it's lower case. Yeah. Uh, 5340. Okay, correct. Tag poor. One twenty six ninety. Correct. Gentle poor. Also, one more thing is if, if I would, where is the gentle power away? If I would uh, do this with a script, I wouldn't be able to stream that. I, I, I can't stream Unreal Engine source code. But, but here I can at least get distracted sometimes by the chat, which is fine, which is actually very helpful when I'm doing stupid work like this. Mm, okay, borrow 200, three, 320. Now goblins, uh, goblins, goblins. Big goblin. Let's check, uh, 5235. Is that the same for every goblin? It should be. Yeah. So we can just copy that, paste that. Now, 
pick up the mage. Oh yeah, I, I checked all of them. I have the same numbers. So this is 52, 35. Okay, snow, f snow as fish. Okay. Mm, as fish. Uh, we don't have snow as fish or am I blind? The hell? A Mason model? Okay, that's weird. Uh, let me write that down for later. Oh my god, why is it lagging so much? Size is zero. Ah, ah, ah. Then I think I know where it is. No. Okay, weird. I, I do need to write it down. Okay. That was weird. I, I was sure that we have all the models. Now back to the animations, problem. One hundred seventy. Warm tail baby. One hundred sixty-five. Okay. Normal warm tail. I seen it in lowercase. One hundred sixty-five as well. Why is my UI lagging so much? Let me close all of that stuff. One sec, because that, that gets really annoying. Probably that's just the editor. But just in case I want to also of stuff that I don't need. Okay, maybe it would be better. Uh, no, it's not really better, but okay. Uh, Cray, 70, 60. Yeah. I do need to to the exports and stage the files real quick. Cause yeah, I did process two hundred file two hundred monsters. So now I need to be careful. Database to CC yeah. Oh my god, why is my UI so laggy? Weird. This is probably just because of that editor. Okay, 
let's continue. Uh, so yeah, 7 to 60, Geographer. One forty five seventy, correct. Run two. Ninety fifty zero zero. Okay, weird. So ninety fifty. Savage baby. Twenty six forty. Okay. Way low. One thirty seven. Okay. Spirit Mandaru. Three hundred four hundred thirty. Okay. Then air fry. Here it is one hundred forty. One hundred ten sixty. Creamy. I love how they went from the Ragnarok Online creamy, basically small insect, to, to, to this thing. <laughs> so yeah, creamy did evolve a lot. <coughs> Zinapa forty five thirty. Okay. Mijanara fifty seven fifty. Okay, that's correct. And the Nara. Fifty twenty five, correct. But to Menangori Creamy like mob in Gunrun. I don't remember. Seventy thirty five, correct. Our beloved Chan Chan one hundred thirty five. Okay, boring. I will have to double check. Th th these are the the vertex meshes. But why do they have zero body height, body radius? That's weird. And we definitely need the body height, body radius on the server side. So I would have to check if it's safe to set some numbers here for the client. Will it ignore these numbers for for the vertex meshes? And, and why it's not using those in the first place? So, uh, Chen Chen again. Wait, why? This is messed up actually. But I think I know why these, these are like special NPCs. 
uh, they are not present in the game right now gravity used them uh, in some special events or special maps i don't know but yeah weird so uh chinchon again another 35 yeah Right, Pekui. Seventeen twenty. Puku Puku. Eighty-five, thirty-six, eighty-five, thirty-six. Another rainbow fish. Wait, here, here it is. Forty, forty. Now we have these. I'm, I'm one hundred percent certain. Okay, so. Uh, PG Bandit M Here it is, one ten forty, correct. F one oh five thirty five and L one twenty fifty five. Okay, the pori. Bloody butterfly. Actually, I'm interested. Let me take a look. One oh five, not one oh three. Oh, didn't notice that. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah this thing. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's not like creamy here. Creamy is totally different, but yeah, yeah, interesting. Okay, uh, bandit leader, I think I. I checked that one, but just a double check. G bandit L one twenty fifty five. Yeah, the pori. Sixty five seventy. Correct. Uh, Midgard's wolf. Midgard's G wolf. Um, Sixty one twenty, correct, correct, correct successor. One hundred one twenty. Lie. Sixty one twenty, yeah. Ray. Sixty-one twenty. Davy. Oh my God, this is so laggy. Forty eighty. Forty. Wait, th that's desert wolf. I'm stupid. Sixty one twenty, okay. 
and GUI. No, so sector training. Okay. <clears throat> So these are Dara's grants. One fifty, one twenty. Warrior, one seventy, one thirty. Guess I can copy that. Oh. That's actually a different model. Okay, well, let's double check that. But they, they should be the, um, basically identical, just the color is different. So let's check baby. 6050, correct. Now, these are Dora's grants. Oh my God, th th this becomes worse and worse. I think I need to restart the editor soon. 120, 150. Wait. So this one has 120, 150, right? Bizadora's grant. 150, 120. That's probably a mistake. This one's on the ground. Uh, where is the Desodorus grant? Yeah, it is a mistake. So it should be 150 here. No. Huh. But this is incorrect. Actually, I think I've seen that. I think I've seen him uh, like with his paws in the ground. Huh. I would need to double check that, but this seems incorrect. Although that can be transition problem 140. These two should match. Let's put here one on forty. Yes. Oh. Wait. So it was correct in the tables. It was not correct in the pack. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, generally uh, the Z translation and the collision height should height should match, but sometimes they don't. Um, so yeah, I will definitely need to check that in the game. Okay, uh, warrior. One thirty, one seventy. That's not correct. One thirteen, one seventeen. Crap! I spilled some water. Now my hand is all wet. No, no, no! I, I remember that. Uh, I definitely seen that that warrior being buggy. Uh, and yeah, I will still check basically every location after I. I've done that. Um, I will just run over all the locations and check the monsters. So, uh, baby, 60, 50, that's the same. Bloody mole. Uh, 
170. Oh, this is also incorrect. I'm tempted to just leave these numbers as they are right now. Or at least use the ones from the pack. And then just double check because I'm pretty sure that's not the only monster that's like that. And maybe it's like that for a reason. Because yeah, I remember the the blue Zadaros the Zadaros Grant being stuck in the ground. But this I don't know. I will need to check. Uh, okay, wait, let's go further. Carpalas. One fifteen. One twenty. So how much more? I'm almost at three hundred. Yeah, then we have our non light non leaves. I'm close, more or less, like 100 more or something in general. Okay, so yellow cat canister. Wait. Yeah. Got uh, the alphabet, 65. Thirteen. Yellow cat food bed. Fifty-five forty. Okay. Prong, or how do you pronounce that? Fifty-five forty as well. Blue cat food bed. Fifty five forty and blue cat pirate. Sixty five twenty eight. Now, this thing that they don't even dare to pronounce. Sixty five twenty eight as well. Fifty thirty. Yeah, um, one forty. Okay. Correct. Button. Eighty. One hundred. Eighty, not that eight hundred. Eighty, one hundred. Okay. Now, straggled merman. One oh five sixty. Struggling mermaid. Ninety sixty. Merman magician. Five copy paste and uh, I need to transfer these numbers to this table. It's not really worth it to write a script for that. So yeah, I just need to do that like five hundred times. <laughs> But yeah, I am like 
more than halfway through. Um, and yeah, hello, how are you doing? Roik. <clears throat> okay, um, Leader Bandit. 2055 White Thin Merman uh, This game called Ragnarok Online 2 The Gate of the World So this one uh, this is the, the website for our project. If my U UI stops lagging because of the editor. Uh, but yeah, basically this game was um, abandoned by the original developers. Ragnarok Online itself is still up, but this game is not. Th this game is... Mm, it, it never... Um, went outside of the Korean open beta testing, which is essentially closed beta testing. Um, and yeah, basically, it's a nice game, and I really like it, and I really like working on it. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know why, but. Yeah, I do enjoy working on it, and I would really like to uh, make it available to the players, and there is some community, some players uh, very interested in it. So yeah, I'm trying to make that possible. And what are you working on? Set your, your while then, other games. <clears throat> but yeah, basically, Gravity had Ragnarok Online 1, uh, then they tried to release this Ragnarok Online to the gate of the world, uh, and yeah, they, they closed the project in 2008, but essentially the development stopped in 2007. Um, and they tried to rebuild it from the ground up, and they made uh, Ragnarok Online 2 The Legend of the Second, which is called slightly differently now, and it's still available in Steam, although the servers are basically dead. Uh, but yeah, we, we are trying to continue the, like, make make the, the first Ragnarok line to better. And yeah, Mamo is a monumental task. It, it's hard. I'm working on it for like, 10 years, but yeah, just as a hobby project when I have some free time. Um, so yeah, take to just try to do offline games and first person dungeon crawlers. Nice, nice. Uh, which games, for example, can, can you name something if you don't mind, if, if it's not a secret? <clears throat> And do you like rebuild them in modern engines or, or what? <clears throat> because here we we use basically the original client but highly highly modified but the engine is the same it's unreal engine 2.5 really old one One fifteen fifty, and again different numbers. This is weird. A wild Twitter one hundred fifty.
Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum. Nice, nice. I really like those platforms. Game Maker is in Game Maker language. Games playable in browser. No emulator, so the law is needed. Nice. Cool, cool. Really nice. And now you're trying to like um, recreate the, the, the game logic or do you like decompile the original code to to see how it works? And do you use like original graphics? I mean like the price the price or whatever. Uh well in case of Commodore, I don't think those can be called sprites, but maybe I don't know. <clears throat> If I remember correctly, it's just like um, weird pseudo graphics text mode for Commodore 64, right? But I, I may I may be mistaken. Create the whole games by cutting everything from scratch, redrawing the graphics, by counting pixels from screenshots and video. Oh wow, that's hard. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Search for your games, there is not many pixels to count. Well, yeah, yeah, fair. But but still, to me, that would be that would be hard. And do you stream that, or do you just like working on that, uh, like alone? I don't know how to how to call it. And try an egg. Fifteen, fourteen. Okay. Oh wait, this is larva. This is the next one. Ninety, one hundred twenty. And devil entry on. Devil entry on. Ninety uh, one hundred fifty. Okay. Stream the full creation of one Commodore sixty four game. Nice. Yeah, I, I would enjoy seeing that. I really love those old platforms, although I never I've never had a Commodore or the X Spectrum. But yeah. Those platforms are, are very interesting to me. I, I just like retro games in general, and those those are just just nice. I like them. Wait. Oh, here it is. I'm just blind. So fifty eight sixty. Uh, Nev Kremlin, Nev Kremlin. 
seventy. Yeah, these are completely incorrect for some reason. Maybe the Kremlin. One hundred twenty eight by tube. One fifty one thirty completely wrong dimensions here in the in the old tables. A good thing that we will have now this num this numbers used by both the the client and the server at the same time. So server validation will be correct. I'm supposed to graduate as a game designer. Nice in a month. I'm busy with cover unit. Oh, nice, nice, nice. See, this is about the platformer games character and weather effect design. Interesting. Cool, cool. Yeah, R really nice. Um, how do you say it? Really nice degree you, you, you chose for yourself. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I'm not a native English speaker. I, I don't know how to call this properly. Like really ni nice learning path. Uh, brutal Kremlin 180, okay, that's correct. Americ. One hundred sixty, wait, one hundred sixty to fifty. PI, um. One fifty, one thirty. Come on, one twenty eighty. That's correct. Blood runner. So how many more do I need? Well, I have some gaps, but I don't need to do those non lifts right now. Actually, I don't need to do any of this right now, but I want to uh, just make sure that I have all the correct numbers. So, uh, Penale Hopper. Forty seventy Karen Crow one forty eighty. Okay, I need to do the database export real quick. So database to CSV. I'm just a little afraid that I will lose all this job that I, all this work that I did. So I'm saving often. Okay, uh, gear bus. One forty and twenty. OK. 
giant crow, giant crow. One fifty one hundred, okay. None lifts. None lift soldier. One oh five forty. Email ninety five thirty five. Soldier again. Why? Okay, weird. Ragbone. One twenty, one sixty. Okay, and uh, leaf trooper mail. One o five forty. Have you found any legal problems about creating this game? Well, um, like I cannot publish it on Steam or something like that as my own game. Uh, the way I'm doing this is um, basically it's distributed as a mod to the original game. So you have to own the original game uh, and basically apply our patch, apply our mod. So it uh, fixes the, the, the client, makes it working on modern systems and uh, yeah, allows you to connect to our servers and our servers are created from scratch. So yeah, um, something like that. But yeah, th this is a totally non-commercial project. Uh, I will never make any money on this. But it, it's a great learning experience. Uh, I've basically uh, learned C Sharp when working on this game, basically from zero to very high level. I, I'm not saying that I'm like a guru or something, but I know C sharp and like programming in general very well now and this game helped me a lot yeah like zero to hero but it took me like 10 years to do so uh but yeah uh this game has basically limitless possibilities to like learn something new something useful in like every aspect of game development like starting from i don't know uh, art, graphics, game game design, uh, programming, both the client side, server side. Server side programming was was hard, was interesting. Um, and yeah, it, that was the most challenging part to make the the server be like stable, scalable. So it can handle thousands of players, potentially. Right now we don't have thousands of players playing. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a great project to learn some stuff. And I will definitely reuse some of the, first of all, knowledge that I gained here, but also some of the code that I've done for, for the server. And yeah for like my future projects i mean <clears throat> it's a big part why i recreate existing old games even ones that are available via emulation yeah yeah you can learn things by examining what other developers have done not exactly like code, but we're all designing um, everything. Yeah, yeah. And I, I guess when it comes to actually like specifically game design, uh, recreating stuff like that is extremely useful. 
for me actually like seeing how the, the original developers have built the, the client side and how it works internally uh, how are like all the resources are being loaded and managed how the data is being structured that was extremely helpful there are a lot of great patterns that you can re reuse on other games yeah i guess if you're studying uh, game design recreating the games from scratch and right actually writing the game logic so it works the same as it was in the original game that's extremely useful you can learn a lot uh squat 105 15 yeah, all these numbers are completely incorrect. So our server was actually using all these numbers. Um, and yeah, looks like the calculation was a little bit off on the server side. But to be honest, I didn't notice anything strange, anything really critical. And we only focused on this one project during the years. Like as a pet project, yes. Like I, I've done different, um, like, how do you say it? Oh, I'm struggling to find the correct words. Like, uh, I, I've been acting different developer roles for this project uh, throughout the years. Uh, so, for example, I've been a backend MMO server developer for most of the time, but also like web developer. I've uh, developed all the, the websites and integration for, for this project. Uh, also game designer. I've redone a lot of uh, the game logic that the original game, in my opinion, was not really good at. Um, also like 3D uh, model artists, if you can say so, I am really bad at it, but yeah, at least I know how low poly 3D uh, design works. Uh, and I am still planning in the future to actually dig deep into Blender and learn how, how to work with that. So yeah, I, I've done a lot of different roles, different stuff. I wish I learned how to focus on a single big project. Well, yeah, yeah, that, that's tough sometimes. Sometimes I did take uh, some big breaks from project, mostly because I didn't have enough free time to work on it. But yeah, also sometimes it's just I'm getting stuck in some uh, working on some problem and I get already fixated over it, I think too much over it and basically can think on some problem for a month or something. <laughs> That's really Don't bad. Don't tell me you're following me. Following you? Avoid that. Uh, thank you for the follow. Oh my God, what's going on with my emotes? It was not doing that <laughs> previously, but yeah. Thank you for the follow. Uh, preservation enthusiast. Welcome. <laughs> Weird. It was not work and it was not doing that on the previous stream. I don't know what, what changed. <laughs> yeah, it, it was cool, but I'm not sure why it happened because even the previous stream it, it was working without all those with the explosion without the explosion of the emotes. And I've noticed that those emotes were like half of them were FFZ emotes, half of them were 7TV emotes. So it's not stream avatars, probably stream elements. And I didn't touch stream elements for, I don't know how long, for a year probably. <clears throat> but yeah, thank you for the follow. So yeah, I was saying that th this project was actually 
uh, more or less easy to focus focus like in general on this project because I had an opportunity to switch different roles. So if I get uh, stuck doing something on the server, for example, in the meantime, I can switch to the client side and work on like level design or something like that. So that, that was helpful. And probably this is why I, I, I still, I'm still working on this project and I didn't like abandon it. Tara Frog, here it is, 3550. <laughs> See preservation work, follow preservation work. <laughs> Heroic efforts. Okay, thanks, thanks. <laughs> How big is the team? Well, uh, if you're counting who's working on the project right now, I am the only one. Uh, it's been like that for over a year, probably, uh, maybe even more. But yes, sometimes people help me, especially with the the artwork, because I'm definitely not an artist. Uh, that's the hardest part for me. I really want to learn how to draw, but yeah, I, I've never actually learned how to do that and that's really hard for me so yeah some, some people help me with uh, the the artwork with uh, uh, the 3d modeling uh, and if you count all of those people who contributed to this project that's actually a lot it's like i don't know 20 30 people it's it's hard to, to count right now all of them because that was happening over like multiple years or the, the full existence of, the, of this project which is which is like 13 years in in total <laughs> <clears throat> okay therafrog is done uh, white fin merman i think i already checked that one but that was for a different entry white fin merman 150 yeah, this is wrong. 115, 15. Cave shark. Cave, cave shark, yeah. Yeah, here it is. 100, 150. Chief white spike. Eighty, thirty. Okay. Oh my god! I think I need to restore the editor, but I'm almost at the end. Uh, Jacked Fletcher. Where is this one? Here it is. Thirty eighty. Cave Soul Shark. One hundred, hundred fifty. Actually, let me try. Let let me close the editor and see if my UI becomes more responsive. Because this is just ridiculous how, how slow it is. It, it, it's not a like a low end PC. It's a it's a okay -ish workstation. Let me see if I do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the editor was actually slowing down the the whole thing. <sighs> Okay, 
let's see if restart and helped. So we need monsters. Also, let's bring them to the camera. So at least we have something to, to look at on stream. Okay, so uh, the last one was this cave saw shark. So next one, Coronetus scale. Actually, it's a little bit faster now. I should have restarted earlier. It's much more enjoyable now. Well, enjoyable. <laughs> if you can even say so. I could definitely imagine how bad it was 15 years ago to work with. Really, 2.5. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, although it's a limited engine, like for the games that were developed in 2005 or so, it was more or less okay. It's just, yeah, th this edition of Unreal Engine is a, a little bit scuffed. <laughs> Why do I see that no emote? Okay, th there is something definitely wrong with stream elements. Weird. <clears throat> Memlik, old god. I'm not sure if it's a memory leak. I think it's something, well, maybe. But yeah, basically it was slowing down the whole Windows UI. So that tells me that probably it was hitting my video card with some either huge calls or too, too many calls. Probably the later. And I'm not sure why doesn't seem like a memory leak actually no it wasn't a memory leak I have like memory log and it's flat basically um, so yeah it was something to do with graphics turn on boundary boxes yeah good call but yeah although it would be nice to check them but I will still check all the monsters as they are, as they appear in the game after I've finished. <clears throat> okay, Vedon X 200-300. Doesn't even fit. <laughs> it's huge. <clears throat> Virus. Here it is. 45-40. Yeah, this, this is much more responsive now. The UI, I mean. <clears throat> Vedan Spike. 48, 50. Current is fear. Sixty-five. Should have restarted the editor like an hour ago, because yeah, it was ridiculous, and now it's butter smooth. Hunter fly. No, not that one. This one. One hundred fifty. Lucidorus Brand One fifty One twenty Warrior One seventy One thirty Sixty, 
200, 300, the spore. Sixty-five, seventy, swamp wolf. Um, seventy, one twenty. Three. Thirty, thirty-three. Remnant spend it. Yeah, it's like 30% faster now. I mean, uh, I'm working like 30% faster compared to the before I restarted the editor. Okay, this one don't have any parameters at all. Wow. But yeah, this is already 410. Uh, remnants bandits. Okay, non live soldier. Soldier. Export time. Yeah, thank you. I'll do that in a moment. Even this thing is faster. Weird, weird. Or maybe it just appears faster. Okay. Stage. Perfect. Uh, then leave guard mail. 105, 40. Wait, 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 40, not 50. Researcher female. One hundred thirty-five. Chief researcher. One hundred sixty. Chief guard. Ninety-two. Uh, fifteen. But the long eighty and one hundred. Also, I should do that. Just select the, the proper amount of columns, a uh, proper amount of rows, and modify them in one time. All zeros with already filled sizes. What do you mean? Like copy from the previous ones? I don't think that's going to be faster and... Mm, I did fill it for some of the monsters, so, so some of them actually duplicate for, from before, but most of them are new. So I, I don't think it's even worth it to even try to find previous entries or try to like write some SQL query to fill in everything that's missing from the similar models, but it's just, I think, faster to just copy paste. <laughs> Embrace the copy paste. Uh, 70. Desert Wolf. Forty. Uh, eighty. Baby Ghost Worker Ants. Baby Ghost Worker Ants. One hundred sixty. Don't arch. Hmm. 
36 Okay, uh, Sand Spider 3575 Be Soldier and Michael Jackson and uh 125 65 just the the attack animation the first frame of the attack animation i don't think you can hear it unfortunately there is a sound but yeah i would need to forward that into obs that's not a very quick thing to do uh where is it 200, 160, big boy. And try an egg. Fifty, forty. Bye, yo, yo. Sixty five. Basis. Um, <laughs> one thirty. Wait, one one thirty, not one twenty. Two hundred and one eighty. One eighty. Okay, we, we, we are almost done. One more page. Uh, hunter fly high. High hunter fly. One hundred fifty. Close the Doris Archer. One fifty five. Eighty. Guardian two hundred one eight. Weird collision box, by the way, but okay. Warlock one twenty one fifty. Lucky foot one twenty one fifty one more non left soldier. What is he doing here? One oh five forty Alex. Don't think we have this one. Yeah, this is another missing model. Let me write it down. Oh, I closed my notepad. Okay, so this one is missing. Bomar, I think, is missing as well. Um. Yeah. So probably we would need to remove those from the game because we don't have any models for them. Probably we will never do we will never have them. 
So Dr. F also, I don't think. No. Maybe we have them in the NPCs though. Can check that. Yeah, don't have them in the monsters. We have this one though. I've seen this one. 120, 60. Okay, another bunch of non lifts. So this is Shredder. What? This is missing as well? Or am I just blind? Crap. It's missing. Let's write that down. Okay. Organic. I think I've seen that one. Yeah. Thirty-five. Sentinel. I don't know. Yeah, we have this one. One of three. Thirty-five. Watcher. 105, 40. Investigator. Platoon. Oh, 110, 60, okay. Almost there, shooter. 100, 15. Terrorist. Ninety-seven, thirty-five. This in one ten forty. Shoot forty fifty-five. Turtle, I don't think, oh no, we have pro 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 proper, um, how it's called, collision box, turtle, 37, 35, why do we have this radius, oh, because I, I've been adding these monsters, I think I just copied wrong data here for the body radius, or just set it randomly, I don't know. Okay, uh, now this one, 43, 81, bear. One thirty-eight, one twenty. Yeah, looks like I've set all those numbers, but I don't know why I didn't set the, the body height. Height. Orc, W fighter. Orc. Doing my Ragnarok Online homework? Or wait, what kind of homework? 
is it based on the script version of Arduino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is based on the script version of. It is basically a the script version of Ragnarok Online too. Um, uh, yeah. So so yeah, basically there was a Ragnarok Online game, uh, which which was popular, very popular, and it's still very popular. Um, and yeah, a lot of people liked it. Um, then they tried to create new version, proper 3D MMORPG, this one. And with this one, they actually uh, did a lot of uh, new exciting stuff, uh, like some more or less innovative approaches to MMORPG for the time. Um, but yeah, there are th there were a lot of problems in the company from what I've heard. Uh, so yeah, basically in two thousand seven, two thousand eight, they decided they they will not continue working on this game, but they still wanted to create a new generation of Ragnarok Online. So basically, they took. Um, let me see. They took um, Requiem online, uh, well, th that they had developed before uh, on a game, Gamebryo engine. Um, and yeah, they basically put a Ragnarok online-like skin on this game, did some minor changes and released it. So basically, essentially, the the new Ragnarok Online 2 that came after the game that I'm working on gets like gets scrapped um, is basically Requiem Online with a bunch of <laughs> uh, yeah like risky. Well, they, they, to be to be fair, they did some um, some stuff. What what are the, these smileys? Stream elements? Why? Weird. But okay, um, yeah, basically they did a reskin, but they did implement uh, some stuff that Ragnarok Online fi fans would like to see, like stats that you can change, um, character stats. But yeah, essentially, the, well, I can understand them. Like the at the at the moment, they they had a crisis in the company. They didn't have enough resources, enough people. Uh, so yeah, they they took the engine that they already had, uh, that they know how to work with. Uh, they hired a bunch of artists to create new models in style of Ragnarok Online One with basically very similar concept art. They took a, a lot of concept art directly from Ragnarok Online 1 without changing it. Um, and yeah, they, they they released a new game. But yeah, it failed eventually. Yeah, yeah, and the market was too fragmented. And the game was basically a, a WoW clone, but with much less features and some weird features as well but yeah it felt basically like wow <laughs> but scuffed wow <clears throat> at least to me and i didn't like the graphics at all and that was really important for me So said that at the end of the day they failed to make a good go continuation of Ra. Yeah, and in the end then they started to make an absurd amount of mobile or ignorant online games, yeah and that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And and it feels like th this game was loved by the developers. A lot of effort went into this game and yeah you, you can see that people who were working on this game they didn't just try to 
make the game just to make a game in time and earn some money you, you can actually see that yeah they've done some good work some there are some nice ideas there are some nice implementations yes the game was unfinished like without much of free content uh, with a lot of bugs but it still was cool it was enjoyable to play <clears throat> so yeah, this is why I liked it, and I really like to make this game um, available to the people and playable properly. Tail mouse huge. This one fifty four to five. Yeah, now there goes our custom stuff. At least some of that. Seventy seventy and then dummies and eighty. So the zero one is to thirty one hundred. Okay, so let's copy that here, here, like that. And then the number one is one sixty. Sixty. Okay, and there I pick so so this is already not a monster, but yeah, well, let's finish this view. And that's gonna be it. Uh, unwrap okay. seventeen. These are technically not used in the game. They don't even work properly. These numbers after forty thousand, but I still want to just fill in all the numbers and forget about it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that was uh, done. Fifty, forty-five, and this is Pukui. Thirty, thirty-three, two hundred, three hundred, and later painted. One twenty fifty five. Okay, so we have all the monsters. Oh, I forgot about the NPCs. <laughs> but okay, well, let's let's uh, save this and actually check the monsters in the game, and then we will deal with the monsters. Let's take some break from copy paste. Because my eyes are melting already. So let's compile first. And let's go into the game. Zero ones, yeah, I will. The ones that are without models, like with, with empty space instead of the model, uh, like most of those are um, vertex meshes. Probably that's why they don't have any body radius, but yeah. 
No, Dark Mode in 2005. Well, this one does have, like, this, this is a DB where a database uh, edit tool, I, I don't know how to call it. Uh, but the Dark Mode in it looks ugly. I, I don't know, I don't like it. Especially, like, when you work with huge amount of numbers, it's it's weird. So, oh, she's still huge. <laughs> Let me fix that before I forget. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this looks ridiculous. Uh, oh my god, yeah, I need to close the editor because my game is lagging. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, so... Let's go zoom in through the world and let's double check the monsters that we have right now. And there's fine. Well, yeah, like I tried the dark mode for the beaver once. I didn't really like it. Um, because probably because I have a little bit customized uh, uh, how it's called the, the color schema. And it didn't work well. And also I've discovered like I've seen a little bit of bugs here and there in the rendering I didn't like that as well but maybe that's already fixed I don't know the, the, the beaver actually develops very actively being developed very actively <clears throat> dark cells like you mean in, in the table editor I don't know well, I've been working with white uh, color schema in database editors for ages. Maybe I'm just biased and I'm just used to it. Uh, so, uh, monsters, monsters. We have our small chan chan, which is fine. We have our dummies. They properly stick into the ground, proper scaling. Nice. Because. Right, because. Yeah. Actual boxes for the numbers, yeah. Okay, yeah. uh, where do we have different monsters? Uh, well, this is basically the whole location, just create like monsters. And some chunk chunks. Maybe we have some crabs on the beach, but I'm not sure. Probably not. Yeah, crabs are on the opposite side of the town. So yeah, so far looks good. At least they are not floating like they were before my fixes. Also, sorry, probably this looks choppy on stream. I, I'm moving very fast, but yeah, I just don't want to spend a lot of time running with normal speed. <coughs> because it's bigger now, no? Same size. Looks fantastic. Okay. But yeah, we, we also have done um, uh, some remaster, so uh, yeah, probably it's better to just watch the the, the video on our website. But yeah, uh, most of the textures got upscaled. It's still work in progress. Like three uh, three quarters of the textures still need need to be upscaled, and there were a lot of improvements on the rendering. So yeah, the, the game even before it looked good for average MMORPG, but now it looks much better. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I really like the graphics. It, it's like uh, minimalistic, but it, it's like it's done in a special, special style that actually looks good even in modern days. So this game aged very well. A lot of modern games look worse than this. <clears throat> At least in my opinion. Uh, why am I? What am I doing here? I need to go to the opposite side of the town. But yeah, the textures get get upscaled like four times, uh, and most of them get received some manual fixes uh, to make them look nice. Okay, so let's check this part. This looks fine, look fine. Uh, stars. Absolutely perfect. Okay, uh, big badass. Oh, right now they are not on an even ground, but looks okay. Uh, we have turtles here. Oh, because. Yeah, looks good. Turtles are fine. Let's check the fish. Yeah, not, not, not much to check here because technically they are floating in the water. Okay, at least the radius looks fine. Uh, let's go check those cuckoos. Okay, this is good. Uh, where are cuckoos? Oh, they are on the graveyard, yeah. Let's go there. Here. Yep, looks good. Where is the bus? Wait, where is the... Oh, here it is. It's weird, but it, 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 it was weird. So, um, next, I guess, sharks, bandits, mermen. So let's check that. Where are the sharks? Oh, here are the sharks. Yeah. Let's go to the bandits. Oh, here we go, another monster. Yeah. Expert tables to plant. Yeah, yeah, I did. Expert at everything that. We've done and uh, recompiled the data files for the plant. Uh, here we have a big chan chan. Yeah. I think they were what and higher previously. Or, I don't know. They seem to be a little lower. Maybe it was like that before, I don't know. Seems okay. But yeah, before my fixes, all these Pukuris were basically flying in the air instead of jumping on the ground. This one's good. This is the NPC, that's not the monster. Okay. 
Let's go check the leader. Something else here in the water? No. Okay. Wait, uh, I missed mermaids right here. Okay. Looks fine. Uh, wait, there. This is just normal mermaids. I also had the archers somewhere. Think a little further that way. Archers. This thing. Mm. No, actually, it's fine. Okay, so. Merman. Or merman. So these are straggles. This looks good. Magician. Oh, right now it's a little bit floating, but I think it's just because of the une uneven ground. Yeah. I stand on one foot. Good enough. Magician art is the best. Yeah, let's go. This is exiled merman. Uh, here is the boss. Again, I think it's just because of the uneven ground. I think we checked everything. We have three identical bosses and a bunch of similar mermen here. Chum -chums. I think they're a little bit too low. Let me see. Uh, can I log into the game? To the test server? Actually, it won't let me. I need to close the game. <clears throat> Gonna work on my game. Thank you for this experience. Yeah, th thank you for hanging out and yeah, good luck with your game. Yeah, yeah, l l let me know when, when you have the project ready. I would like to check check it out as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to switch the language. It's in Portuguese now. And without UI scaling. Okay, uh, warp, uh, two. <laughs> so let's go check Chum Chums. Yeah, yeah. It was the same before. Where is the big one? Here is the big one. Yeah. Basically the same. Okay. So let's go check the rest of the mobs.
they are smaller, now they are the same. Now oh, there is a big chain chan and a small chain chan. They are different sizes, but they are the same. I'm pretty sure. These are big chain chunks. Uh, where is the entrance to the cave? Here. Oh, come on, let me. Check these ones. Frogs. The frogs are actually flawed. In it. Or no. Well, a little bit. It's just most of them on this slope, which makes them, them float more. I guess. Well. From this angle it looks okay, but it didn't look okay somewhere here. Let's, let's reduce their height just a little bit. So this is Rada Frogs. Uh, let's just search. Okay, uh, 35. Trying to catch the star. Uh, let's try 32. Okay, now I think it's perfect. Okay. Uh, there are some murmur. No, this is the old ones. Yeah, these are the old ones. I think the new ones are a little bit further into the cave. Yeah. Now frogs are not falling through the ground, finally. This frog was constantly bugged and was basically living under this rock. The delay, yeah. Well, first of all, yeah, there is the delay to the stream, so... Twitch introduces some delay, also on your side there can be some delay. Um, but also, stream avatars sometimes have their own delay a little bit when their bot reacts to the messages. We fix the question boxes and mobs in gameplay. What do you mean? Uh, 
collision boxes for a while, but this is what I was working on right now. And what in This looks look good. Collision box was too high for him. Oh, those! I, I will check all of those. Uh, I will go over this this map first, and then I will go to pr to print area and we'll check those as well. But yeah, I think we would have to fix. Uh, those collision boxes for the Doris monsters. Some of them were a little bit tough, but they needed to double check. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will check that. I'm so glad that the, the monsters now don't fall through the ground. At least. I haven't seen one falling yet. Theoretically it's still possible. It's just the probability is much much less. The radius on these monsters is a little bit too small to my liking. So let's... Uh, this is Vadon Vadon. Okay. Why is this one different? Let me find one on more even ground. Okay, I think this needs to be lowered just a little bit. They are floating. At least more floating than I would like to see them. Okay, uh, why do I have 76 here, but 50 here? I am pretty sure I changed that. That looks weird. Uh, let me double check. Yes, it's the same model. I'm pretty sure I went over this 40,000 monsters. So did I forget to check this one or, or what? Weird. Uh, animations, monsters. Vadan Vadan. 76.50. Why is this one not fixed then? Weird. Maybe I missed that one. 76.50, but I wanted to lower the height a little bit yeah technically it's spot on but i would like to lower them there is small discrepancy in the height as you're changing by hand so you only know that in different models now it's fine i i i've as soon as i've ported these numbers to the client i can forget about that so let's Try 72. So, yeah, when I'm changing here, I will not save this pack. So, when I close the editor, these values will be reverted in the client. I don't want to, cha to change this pack because it will mean uh, this pack will be rebuilt and pushed to the update server. And it's not a small file and the incremental changes in unreal packs don't really work as i would wish at least 
So yeah. It's just now as soon as I ported all those uh, numbers into this table, I will just work with this table and use those collision box, box numbers in the editor just to check. Just to see the, the actual collision box. So my god, the client froze. Okay, uh, so let's export. Let's compile the data files. And let's see. So basically I would have to check all the monsters even if they, their collision cylinder looks good in the editor they can look a little bit off uh, in the real game They are still floating but yeah I don't think I will reduce the height anymore because they would look weird when they are on flat ground. Oh crap, I wanted to increase their radius as well. Uh, let's do 60. That would be fine, I, I will not check that right now. <coughs> No, the, the client, it was using those values from the editor previously, but now it's going to use the values from the same tables that the server is using. So this is why I'm doing this. I'm just making a, a single unique source of data for both the client and the server and making sure that it's correct. This one is more or less in the background. Yeah. Yeah, let's leave it like that. But yeah, once I've done all of that and corrected all the heights that look weird, we will just use the same numbers for the client and the server. It's just when I Change, when I did the, the client side fixes that fixed monsters and the, the, the player characters falling through the ground, I had to get rid of using, I had to like stop using those numbers from the Unreal packs. That was one of the problems. The, the way these numbers. Oh my god, yeah, this is like, sorry. Probably really loud. I think I'm gonna really check how it looks like. I guess I can lower it just a little bit. Oh my god, it's loud. Okay, uh, yeah, let's lower that a little bit. So that was. Oh, I done Z. This one. So let's. Uh, let me see where is its name. Let, let's reduce the height just a little bit. Uh, 190. Mm, maybe 195. Let me look into that one more time. Sorry for the noise. Oh, now there is no noise. Okay, weird. Yeah, let's lower it by 10. That, that would be... Oh, oh my god. I guess it was not moving. So let's... To 190 and put all those numbers for these ones as well because it's the same model. Yeah, he's extremely loud. <clears throat> yeah, I've checked all of these ones. Well, that is fine. So, yeah, the cave is done. Let's go to Prontira. First, let's check the city itself. There are some mice in the city. <clears throat> Not 
here. Let me get, let me out, let me out. Where are the mice? Here, okay. Actually, I can reduce, yeah, 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 I need to reduce this. This height. So this one, crap. Town mouse, okay. Let's set it. Okay, how how much is that? Guess minus four, minus five. Let's do forty two. Okay, uh, let's go outside now. Orange. This one doesn't have any body radi radius, but it's still rendering the circle just fine. So yeah, I, I will ch I will check I, I will check the the client side code for that later. Um, but yeah, looks fine. And this one looks fine as well. This is absolutely perfect. I think when they have the mice and bonbons. Yeah. Here, let's go to the graveyard. Chan chans. Borings. Yeah, nothing new here. This can be lowered a little bit, I guess. Well, yeah, he's on a on a slope, uh, but I think it can lower them just a little bit, even if they go a little bit deeper into the ground when they are standing on a flat surface. That would look better. So, uh, we're done again. Let's do like minus four, so sixty-eight. Yeah. Hydras. That I don't know. Actually, they are a little bit floating. Yeah, I need to lower this. This is weird actually, because previously they were a little bit more stuck into the ground. Guess it's just the, the discrepancy. So, Hydras. One hundred. Um, let's. How much do we need to lower it? At least five, but maybe even ten. Yeah, maybe ten. Guess half of the time they will be placed on a slope. 
So I would prefer them dig, uh, be digged into the ground a little bit. So let's do 90. And this one I would have to check. Also, let's check Tropical Hydra. Mm. Out a little bit more flat surface. This can be lowered just a little bit, just by two, I guess. Or by three. So yeah, let's check this one. Because I am not sure, maybe 10 is lowering the, the Hydra by 10 units is too much. Okay, I think this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, this looks perfect. Well, as perfect as you can make it. Considering it, it looks weird on an uneven surface. Uh, but yeah, that looks good, so let's check, I guess, other quarries, but basically they're all the same. Uh, yeah, we also have some cows and sheep up there, but those actually NPCs, I didn't touch those yet. I, I did update the monster version of cows and sheep, but didn't touch this one yet. And yeah, this is weird. So yeah, we will need to fix that later. At least they're more or less standing on the ground. Actually, let's let's fix that now while we see that. So I, I, I want to reduce the radius. These ones, I guess. These ones, 80. Uh, yeah, I think I can just copy from this one. 53. And let's say these ones, although I'm not using the monster version of them. Let's check cows. Oh wow, the circle is huge. Yeah. So, not 170, but... Maybe 100... Mm, 120? Max? Maybe even less. Okay, it's ours. I love their butts. <sighs> Korean developers. Maybe I can all... no, he's actually like standing on a slot. No, it's fine. There should be some wolves and some more spores here, I think. Yeah, these ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Looks okay. Oh. A problem with wolves. Not sure. Actually, no, no, no. They're fine. It's just yeah, they are large, and when the client tries to align them and snap them to the ground, it's not always looking good. But I think the collision box is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of the time, it looks okay. Okay, let's go to the next map. <coughs> yeah, it's hard to understand if this collision box is fine for them, but most of it, it looks fine. These holes. Fine, I already checked them. There should be swamp holes somewhere there. Now uh, let's go up. We still have our Zadorus monsters that I needed to check, definitely. Most likely they are bugged a little bit, so... Uh, let's check that. Baby looks okay. Yeah, babies are fine. Is the red ones. This is fine. Where are the warriors? Here is one, but he's on a rock. Yeah. Let's check another one. This one. This is fine. Okay, so we checked all three of the red ones. Uh, we need to check the blue ones. The blue ones are down below. Oops. The baby looks okay. This one I think is okay, hard to see. Yeah, this one is okay. Warrior. Oh. Warrior is a little bit buried into the ground, I think. Uh, let me check another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The blue warriors need to be fixed. So this one's our swamp Doris warriors. So, 170 for mountain ones. 130, yeah, looks like it's a different model. Okay, uh, let's check. Uh, so, Swamp, Sodorus, Warrior. D, Sodorus, Warrior. Yeah, here it is. I can see it. Yeah, it should be 140. Mm. 
Okay. So that is fixed. Uh, blue ones, I think, are good. And the babies are good. Do I have a blue? There is ground on the flat surface. Oh. More or less. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, uh, and by the way, this is our boss. Palace. So this one is fine. This, this, that was not a normal warrior. Uh, okay, uh, I need to check one more boss. So I need the red boss and I need blue and red NPCs. I didn't touch the NPCs yet. Uh, where is the red boss? Should be the warrior. Here is the NPC. Oh, actually looks fine. Uh, where is the red boss? I don't remember where he is. I have no idea. That's it. There it is. Yeah, it's hard to see because he's standing basically. Well, I, I didn't remember his name. So I was looking for it. So, Melanus. And this one. Now I need to find a flat ground, more or less. Just here. Oh, yeah. This is. So, uh, Vladimir. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Should be one fort, I think. Okay, so we checked two bosses. And I think I've seen one NPC, right? Blue NPC. Don't remember their names, so <laughs> I can't spawn them. I just need to find them. There should be like one red NPC. I think a grunt. And one blue NPC. Yeah. I don't remember where they are. Okay, I guess I will have to find them in the tables. I don't remember where they are spawned, what are their names, anything. Yeah, no idea. So, okay, let's find them. So, 
How do I find them? They also have different names in the in the Unreal packs. Uh, Oh, I think I actually didn't spawn them. Hmm. Okay, I know how to find it more or less easily. Let's go to the spawns. Uh, editor NPC spawns RTF03. And here I can just check the NPC model IDs and just directly spawn them. Here. These are probably the guards. I need to put some comments on the spawns. Uh, what can I type in spawn? Here we go. Looks okay, I think. Let me actually find some even ground here, I guess. Maybe I can lower it just a little bit. So, Renounce. Where are you? Uh, let's look for editor name. One thirty. Uh, one thirty. Uh, wait, one thirty-eight. Or one thirty seven and this should be the other one. Various. Yeah, let's lower that one as well a little bit. Let's do one eighty. Okay, so these are done, uh, let's go check Sporo Village, I think we'll, oh, we also have these ones here, maybe we can lower them just a little bit, actually no, no, that should be fine, yeah, this is fine. Um, Let's go check this part of the village. There are some bosses in these. Mm, that's fine. You, you on the other hand, is not fine. But, uh, okay. Oh, weird. Four to five. Oh, I missed this one. It should be four to five, four to. How did they miss it? Weird. Okay. So let's reload real quick and we would have a chance to double check this one and the Zadorosis. Then we can go to the final map. Also we have Culvert to check. Yeah.
Yeah, that's better. Let's go check those there's monsters. It's this one that was stuck into the ground a little bit, right? are okay. Um, let's spawn those two NPC monsters. Then let's do this here. And I already forgot their names. Crap. Oh, I have them in the table. Wait, what the hell? Oh, there is, there is another plank. I need a flatter ground, I guess. Let's go to Prontera and see how that goes. Yeah, that, that's pretty much spot on. And what about the second one? Mm, yeah, yeah, this is fine. Okay, and we have one more map to check here. <coughs> Let me out. Okay, these are fine. Um, we have cats here. Let's go check the cats. Actually, no, let's go check the bandits first. And then cats. She is floating a little bit. Uh, again, hard to tell. Yeah. These are definitely floating. Um, so, females. Email bandit. Yep, I can see that. Oh my god, editor, please. So let's do one hundred. Yeah, it should be one hundred. Let's go check the leaders. And we need one that yeah. Okay, this this looks okay. Let's go check the cats. These yellow ones are fine. Technically, all the other cats should be fine as well. Oh, we have still a pirate model. Yeah, there's basically three cat models. No, there are four cat models.
Mm, yeah, this is fine. He was just on the slope. Yeah, yeah, you have to go. Okay, thank you, thank you for stopping by. Have a nice evening. So, uh, these are okay. Oh, they look like they float a little bit. Yeah. Oh, this is rock cat and where is the pirate cat I don't know it's hard to tell technically it's it's fine. But sometimes, yeah, I guess it's just a discrepancy in the collision calculation. Let's lower them just a little bit. So this is... Let's look for all the cats. Um, actually, let's go to Prantera. And let's see how they look like on actual flat ground. We can check all the models. That would be easier. Oh, these are still here. Weird. Yeah, this is definitely floating. Gangster cat. Uh, which is... Yeah, gangster cat. In the editor. Here it's fine. So yeah, we need to lower these ones I don't know by four units all the gangster cats actually I need to check these two as well because technically it's a different model so technically the collision cal can be calculated differently let's check this one This one is also part. Let's do fifty one. Magician. And this one is hot. Oh my god. Forty six. Pirates. And this one's what's 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 happening? So yeah, let, let, let's reduce the height for each of them basically by four. Yeah, looks like it's a common problem. So let's check that now. But yeah, the collision box looks fine in the editor, but the client renders it a little bit higher. Okay, this is actually perfect. Yes, this is exactly on the ground. So let's see how that looks like on the real map. Because theoretically they still can go into the ground a little bit and that can look weird. Mm. 
It does look weird sometimes. But yeah, technically it's good. Let's go check the, the ones that are on the beach. Yeah, these are now standing properly. Okay, this is good. Alright, uh, I guess we still have these guys. Yeah, this is basically only this thing. Which is definitely fine. And the sharks. These are also fine. So yeah, one more thing to check is the covert. That would be it. That would be every monster that we have right now. Accessible at least. Also, I thought that the monster that I spawn should disappear as soon as I leave the map. That is weird, I would need to check that. Or maybe it was server wide, but they actually should disappear when I leave the map. They shouldn't be standing there. Actually, floating just a little bit. I guess by three units, maybe four. But yeah, I would lower them just a little bit. So these are the larvas. Eggs are actually fine. Let's check other ones. These are the larvas again. Here's the female. Bottom as well. I think... yeah. Let's lower the larvas. Um, Thiefback larva. Let's do 30... let's try 31. And see how that looks like. Because yeah, they, they have very, very tiny... How do you even call it? Legs. So it's very easy to overshoot it so they sink into the ground. And I don't want that. So yeah, let's try 31. It was 35. Probably 31 is too much. Probably I need to set it to 32, but yeah, let, let's see. Oh my god. No, oh, that's actually... Hmm... We can even lower it just a little bit more. Right? Well, it's already fine. It's not noticeable, but yeah, I guess we can even lower it to... I don't know, 28? Let's try that. Because yeah, basically all of the thief bugs are have the height height 35 so if we figure out the height for one of them we can set it to each of them
Actually, I think this is perfect. It's still floating a little bit. How, how is that possible? But I think this is exactly what we will go for. So I will set it to 28 for each of those. Yeah, and let's see. Let's take a look how it looks like in the game. This is standing on a plank. Yeah, this is fine. So now I need to check the other ones. The males, the females, and the culvert versions. Yeah, this is actually looks perfect. Well, actually, the, the hind legs stop. No, actually looks fine. Here is the male. Looks fine. Uh, there should be some chan chance somewhere, I guess, here. Okay, oh my god, why, my god, why, why is it lagging all of a sudden? I need a more even ground somewhere to check those. Here we go. Uh, and this one can actually be standing on the plank. Yeah, 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 this is fine. Where are the females? And I also should have some rats and turtles here. Here's the female. It's fine. So where are the small rooms? Here. How do I get up? Why is it lagging so much? I guess the editor again does its thing. Yeah, now it's better. Uh, I don't think I can jump to that. So I need to find a way to go up there. Okay. Here is the room. Here we have a rat. Well, it's floating a little bit. Yeah. So, sewer red. Actually, we should have only one red. No? No. Okay, sewer red. Let's set it to 28. Yeah, no, 27. That should be more than enough. So, yeah, that's that. And I guess we have only the thief bug, the, the golden thief bug left. Yeah, here it is. And this one actually needs to be pulled up a little bit. Uh, also, I want to make it bigger. Um, where is it? Where is it? This one. Probably this one should be 35 like it was before. And let's do body scale. Now it's 200, right? Let's do 300. And let's check it out.
here we go. Yeah, it's actually exactly on the ground and the size is nice. So yeah, that's it. We finished checking all the monsters, but we still need to double check all the NPCs. Yeah, this one is floating just a little bit, barely not as well. Technically we can forget about it. But yeah, I, I do need to check all the NPCs as well, but yeah, we have much less NPCs that, than monsters, so that should be easier. But that would be for tomorrow, I guess. That's gonna be it for today. Let's find someone interesting to stream, to, to, to raid. <clears throat> okay, who do we have? Uh, Uh, let's check this person out. I don't think I've ever rated them or even seen them. Oh, no, that looks interesting. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for hanging out. Um, we finished today just and all the monsters making them proper height prop making proper collisions for them and yeah looks like they are no more no more falling through the ground which is great uh and tomorrow i'll stream probably will finish the, the npcs and then we have some bug fixes and npc spawns so yeah uh, i hope to see you um tomorrow and yeah thank you everyone for watching let's go check out this person bye bye